Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about ceramic coating warranties. This is something that's always kind of a hot button subject because you have these companies that will say, hey, they have a lifetime warranty. Well, but with an asterisk or a, you know, something like that, because is it really a lifetime warranty? So we're going to jump in. We're going to take about 10 different brands, look at them in depth, actually read the warranty, the fine print, and see a little bit more about these. So let's jump into it. All of this information is found either on the manufacturer's website, a distributor's website, an installer's website, or otherwise found online. System X, they have a couple different products that they offer. This one is specific to US and Canada. This coating is made in the US. It's made by a company called Element 119. It is a professional only ins uh, installation. So by an approved installer, it is warranted against oxidation, loss of gloss, UV damage, acid rain, paint chalking, does not say hydrophobic properties. You, you'll find that's a common trend amongst these warranties is that they don't cover hydrophobics, which to you and I is normally when a, when a coating is considered failed. Who is it applicable to? It says a lifetime warranty when annual service requirements are met. So Diamond, that's their flagship lifetime warranty. Pro, six-year warranty. And you have to have a, an approved installer install it, have a warranty card, and that warranty card has to be registered within 30 days. Otherwise, it's no good. The vehicle has to remain registered, so you can't have it installed on a show car, put it away where it's not registered for road use and then bring it back and say, oh, my coating failed. It has to stay registered continuously and a non-commercial vehicle. That's also another common trend that you'll see with these warranties. Vehicles registered as passion, passenger vehicles only. Commercial will not be covered and you are required to have a machine polishing anything older than three months old. So basically most vehicles washed bi-weekly to prevent contamination. So exclusions Let's jump down to there. Pre-existing damage, careless, negligent, you know, that's pretty standard, but doesn't cover swirl marks, marring, scratching, scuffs, scrapes, chips to the surface. Doesn't cover water spots. Any impact, of course, that would be on you. Touchless car washes only. Never use a car wash with brushes. So annual inspections, you have to have it done by an approved applicator within 30 days. Maintain the warranty. Failure to do that will void the warranty. But what does it really cover in here? You know, they're they're saying here's their limits, uh, maximum of $1,000. And then once you have a claim, they terminate the warranty. So if you have a lifetime warranty, you have a claim, it's no longer a lifetime warranty. So you go back up here, what do they cover? Doesn't cover hydrophobics, covers oxidation, which if you don't, if you have a clear coated vehicle, not a high chance that that's going to happen. If you had an old single stage, that could happen. Loss of gloss, that could definitely happen, but you're going to have to be able to prove it. You're going to go out and buy a $2,500 meter, like what I have for when I use in my test, prove that most people aren't going to do that. Same with UV damage, acid rain, paint chalking, paint's not going to turn white from it. You know, it's a uh, very little is actually covered when you think about it. That's, that's what it says it covers right there. So that's System X. Let's jump into PNS Inspiration Ceramic Coating. It says a three-year warranty. What does it cover? Fading, loss of gloss, hard water spots. System X didn't cover hard water spots. This one does. UV and oxidation, acid rain, fallout, bird droppings. You know, that's paint chalking. It's basically a lot of the same, except for it also covers hard water spots. You also notice that it doesn't say hydrophobic properties. Eligibility. So this warranty only works if your car is four years old and newer and has less than 75,000 miles. Other than that, it's not covered. Jumping over to owner's pride manufactured by ECP. I'll get into that here in just a second. So this is a sample that I pulled from their website about what's covered, what's not. They're kind of the same deal. Six model years of age or newer. So if you have a car that's seven years old, not covered. What does it cover? It says fading, chalking, loss of gloss, acid rain, bird, bird waste, tree sap, insect damage, UV rays, hard water spots, ocean spray, brake dust, rail dust, overspray, fuel stains. Again, no hydrophobics are noted in there. So when you go down ECP Incorporated further says if your vehicle is one year old, then you have seven years warranty. Two years to three years, you have five years. And four to six, you have three years. Fine print. It only applies to factory painted surfaces. Does not apply to anything chrome plated, the exhaust system, hinges, delamination, peeling, scratches, paint damage from chips, collision, anything like that. So basically, you know, you're going back to what does it cover if it's going to fade on your one to six year old car, which isn't going to happen. So 
we go and what do they cover? If it fails to perform, they will pay for the treated surface of the vehicle using industry industry standard techniques and will pay to reapply the product to the affected service at no cost to you. That's it. Maximum, uh, let's see, that's for wheels, maximum $1,000. There is no maximum listed here. And then headlights, if it fails to perform as guaranteed, that's it. They will pay to refinish and detail the headlight lens to dis to restore clarity. That's all they're, they'll pay for. Limitations, one repair on the same area over the term of the warranty. That's it. So if it happens again, you're on your own. On to CarPro. This is Secor's professional, calls, a, calls it a real world three-year warranty. What does it cover? Gloss retention of coating products. And it covers the quality of service from your d professional detailers, which is basically, let me just strike that out because that's really nothing. So this warranty covers gloss retention, no hydrophobics, no nothing else. What does it not cover? Damage from misuse, products which cannot be verified as sold by authorized distributors. So basically like myself, I have Seacourse Professional and Seacourse Finest, but I am not an authorized installer or distributor. So therefore I can't warranty it which of course makes sense. And if you claim a warranty, then they will replace it without cost. Here's Seacourt's Finest Reserve. Again, same same thing. It only covers gloss retention. Ceramic Pro. So this is a, a care sheet, and then it gets into the warranty. It talks about annual inspections because Ceramic Pro Gold right here has a lifetime warranty of a vehicle from the date of application, but it requires annual inspections and if you don't do that, then it becomes a five-year warranty from the date of the last inspection if it's missed. Ceramic Pro Silver, five years or two years if you miss an inspection. And Bronze, two years or one year if you miss an inspection. It goes up here to Sport, Ceramic Pro Sport, which is their, their uh, spray sealant. It's only six months. So what does it actually say it covers? And I have read this thing from top to bottom, and it does not say what it actually covers. So it's all of this legal speak, and it doesn't say what's actually covered. So if you if you read it, I mean, it, it says it begins, they say when it begins, it excludes vehicles for commercial purposes, and it must be installed by a certified professional ceramic pro installer. That's it. That's, that's all it says. It doesn't say if it covers hydrophobics, it has to be continually registered, it has to be machine polished before you apply it, and it has to be in the vehicle owner's name, but can be transferred if the new owner attends an annual service. <laughs> it, it really just doesn't say what it covers. It says it will not cover, including but not limited to, that's that but not limited to gives attorneys a lot to go on does not include high spots streaks low spots so i don't know if you've ever experienced a high spot in a coating it looks like a little oily residue that doesn't come off deterioration of factory installed equipment doesn't cover that does not cover swirl marks marring scratches scuffs scrapes chips to the painted surface or hard water spots remember the advertising that they have where it shows them like lighting stuff on fire or using the lighter on the hood uh, you know, to scratch, scratch up everything. Well, they're doing that to get you to buy it. And yet in the warranty right here, it says they don't cover it. So it doesn't cover damage caused by abrasive cloths, sponges, automatic car washes, stone chips, subsequent repairs, anything like that. It's only valid for clear coated vehicles. So if you have an old single stage car or even 2014, an older white Toyota that uh, a lot of those have a single stage paint, it's not valid on it. So again, I encourage you to look at these. I'm including all of these in a zip file on, a, on my Google Docs that I'll include in the video description, but it's it does not say what it actually covers. Please, please read this. And if you if you see something I'm missing, let me know. But it just, it does not. And it limits it to $2,000, which, you know, that's a pretty fair amount. So that's uh, that's Ceramic Pro. Jump over here to Crystal Serum, nine-year guarantee. And they do have a wash guide they want you to use. And it's only guaranteed when applied by an accredited detailer or applicator. And it has to be registered in your country no later than 30 days after it's been applied. Here's another one where you have to have a annual inspection every 12 months to guarantee it up to the nine years. If you don't do that, the warranty is void. So this is what it actually covers. Should the treated car surfaces be damaged by tree sap, bug splatter, bird, bat droppings, UV rays, G-Technic will repair or clean and re retreat the damaged area at no cost to the owner. So that's the warranty right there. Doesn't say anything about hydrophobics. Just basically environmental damage. If, that, if it uh, causes any damage or fails, they'll replace the coating. 
that's it. So if you have to have a claim, it's up to them, you know, and a lot of these companies can easily just say, go fly a kite and you're not covered. That's it. It's, they're reserving that language in a lot of their warranties. So here we go over to Gion 10 year warranty. I pulled this from a total detailing. They're an official uh, certified mobile detailer, but they apply the C2 flash ceramic coatings. Fast curing allows application under various conditions. Gion has many other coatings too. This is just one that I, I picked. So it has a 10-year warranty that you have to register through the manufacturer. And it also has to have a bi-yearly coating maintenance. And that's every other year, not twice a year. It's reduced to three years if you decide to maintain it yourself. So three to 10-year warranty, depending on how you look at it. What does it cover? It covers environmental impact, UV damage, self-cleaning properties, and water repellency. So this is the first coating so far that actually warrants hydrophobic properties. IGL, so they have Kinzo, and this is the non-graphene version. The newer one, I think they up it to five years and 100,000 kilometers for the graphene version, but it's all the same language otherwise. So it has to be installed by certified Kinzo IGL master Kinzo installer on a surface that's acceptable. So you can't throw it on something that's in poor shape and durability ratings. So here it, it covers blistering, bubbling, cracking, delaminating, peeling, or noticeable loss of gloss or reflectivity. That's it. So it does not cover hydrophobics, it just covers. And, and it really it doesn't say if it's the coating or the paint that it is applied to if it covers that, but I would assume it's the coating. So something that's one micron or less thick is not going to blister, bubble, crack, delaminate, peel. It may get less glossy or reflective. So again, you have to go back to, you have to be able to prove that before and after. You have a industry accepted standard meter that is that is able to measure gloss consistently and you can and you measured it right after it was done and then you can measure it, you know, three years down the road. And if it's less glossy, then it would apply under here. It does not protect against paint chip scratches or other mechanical damages. Not for commercial purposes. So it's, it's very similar to a lot of the others that no, no, uh, it's very similar to a lot of the other coatings here and that you can't use it for commercial purposes. If it doesn't, or does it, if it doesn't perform, you have to have notify the Kinzo installer who installed it. So it is only warranted to the original installer. So if you have a claim, you have to go back to the original person that installed that. Oh, they're out of business. Well, guess your, your warranty may not work anymore, may not be valid. So you go on to, so continuing on, durability ratings are personal and to the purchaser and are not transferable. That's it. Should be inspected every six months. If it requires cleaning for the purposes of inspection, the cost of the cleaning are borne to the purchaser or the vehicle owner, but an inspection appears to be at no cost must be done according to a maintenance schedule of IGL coatings. And then there's other disclaimers, won't accept liability if you're negligent or used abrasive products of third parties. So I'm guessing you can use abrasive products of IGLs and it's fine, but the way that's worded. Uh, damaged caused by accident or voluntarily, non-compliance with the conditions and requirements included herein. Going over to Art to Shine, which is their and Apex Details ceramic metal oxide coating, same thing. Same SDS. We already got into that earlier about Art to Shine is making a white label product for Brian at Apex Detail. So it's the same product. When I ask for an SDS from Brian, this is what I was sent. So it goes into durability. This is more of durability, not exactly a specific warranty. And so this is the best I could find. It's bonds in normal condition. So three years. It's not really a, a warranty per se, but that's what's the expected life. 150 washes in pH neutral with a certain climate range. The extreme conditions, three years, 100 washes. Hydrophobic properties, they expect to last two years. 100 washes. Basically, looking at this, expect two to three years is what it's saying. And it does specifically mention hydrophobic properties. It does say it's suitable for gloss, matte, clear, vinyl wraps, paint protection film, glass windows, everything except windshields, which is not recommended. So what have we learned here? These companies put so much emphasis on their marketing for these warranties that when you look closer at them, there's really not much there at all. So taking this one step further, we've had one client that he always makes sure that he gets every last little penny's worth out of his warranties. So we actually had a claim 
So we had to deal with one of these manufacturers and they make it so difficult to pay a claim that you might as well just not even bother. Just eat it and move on so so the client's happy. In this particular instance, the company didn't want to pay us to reapply the coating because they said we charged too much for it. And so therefore they're not going to reimburse us for it. Nowhere in any of these warranties does it mention the charging too much or charging too little. It just says the maximum that they'll pay in some cases. Some of them say a thousand, some of them say two thousand. So in this instance, the uh, the client took the vehicle up north and it was in the salt and snow for about a month. You know, it's a winter winter getaway. Come back, almost the entire coating had completely failed. They uh, the company wanted to pay half of a bottle of coating and that's it. So, you know, if, if a coating bottle, one of these professional only ones is $200, they were going to pay a hundred dollars. So the, the labor, we would just have to eat that. This was a $1,500 job that we're just going to have to eat that and move on. Well, that's exactly what we did. And we just didn't even bother with the coating company because they just made it so difficult. They, they always had these promises, oh, we're here for you to help you out and so on. But when it really comes down to it, they go running for the hills. So therefore, we don't use that company anymore. And you see why. So these, these warranties have so little that are in them that it, you might as well just not even have them. It covers stuff that realistically isn't even going to happen. UV resistance, well, vehicle clear coats, modern clear coats, especially on, on some of these coatings that they say they, they, they don't even have a warranty that applies unless it's six years or newer or four years or newer or whatever. On a car that's four years old, you're not going to have a clear coat fail no matter if you're in the, in the middle of the desert and it sits outside all day. I mean, it's just not going to happen. As an individual, if you're looking at a company as far as what coating they install and then you go and look at the warranty, don't even shop for it based on the warranty. Shop for it based on the shop reputation, the quality of work they put out. Are they booked out three, four, five months? You know, that's a that's a good problem to have. Whereas they're like, oh, no, we can get you in tomorrow. Please don't leave. You may want to keep looking. So just things to keep in mind. Just make sure when you're when you're going to make a huge investment like this in your vehicle that you really stop and smell the roses. What what are they really offering for these warranties? That being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble on, and we'll see you soon. And just one more quick thing to note: I do have a spreadsheet that kind of summarizes all of the ten products that I just talked about in the video description below. There is also a Google Docs zip file that has all of what you just saw if you want to look at everything closer. Uh, again, look at the Ceramic Pro one really closely and tell me if you can find exactly what it covers because I can't find it. Thanks, guys.